Hello everyone, I'm Scott Taylor and I'm here today to talk to you about the Baby Box. So what is the Baby Box, I hear you ask? Well, in Scotland, uh, as of 2017, if you have a child, the government sends you a Baby Box of essentials that you might need for every baby. You know, wipes, uh, outfits, you know, shotguns, things that little babies need to survive. Um, spears, things like that, that, you know, against the, the wolves that they'll be cast to come their first birthday. So since we're expecting a new addition of joy to our home um, in less than four, five weeks, I thought we'd uh, open our baby box so you could see exactly what you get as a parent in Scotland. I think it's a great idea. Seemingly tens of thousands of these have been sent out by the Scottish government. I think it's a great equaliser for parents as well that you know, low income or even high income parents, you know, it's good to have that basic set of uh, of tools you'll need from the offset. Because uh, I know that with our first child, the destroyer, really was just a what the hell are we doing here? Whereas with this box, uh, seemingly the contents are aimed at everyone. Here's all the tools you'll need to continue. The box itself even can be used as a cot. Let's have a look at the box and see exactly what you get. So this is the baby box, as you can see. Um, you've got no idea how uncomfortable it is for a man of my girth and size to be sitting as wide-legged here, but I'm doing it for you because I'm that kind of caring kind of guy. Apologies for the sound quality being a bit less, but the cat, the microphone I had pinned to my top, my big fat feet stood in, the, stood in the cable and snapped the connector, so I'm using a small microphone on top of the camera. Great. Uh, so. Let's fire into the wonderful baby box. Have you seen these things? They're awesome. You've got the uh, this lovely artwork all over the, uh, the box, sides and front. And you've got instructions inside about sleeping in Scotland's baby box. Things to remember when using the box for your baby to sleep in. Um, do not place inside with any kind of vermin. No rats, no tigers. Uh, no elephants. What the fuck am I saying? Keep pets away from boxes at all times. Obviously, if you own ferrets or any kind of rodent, don't put them in the box with the baby and then put the lid back on again because that will just spell danger. Please, please do not place the baby box close to open fires because, you know, clearly it's cardboard and you're thick. So if you put your electric fire this close, I'll get a picture to show you, this close to the box, then you're stupid. And the box will be confiscated from you forthwith. Keep your baby smoke free uh, by not smoking near them or allowing them to smoke in the box. Uh, so if your infant child is on a 20 a day bench and hedges habit then obviously when they go into the box maybe give them a nicorette patch just to ease them over while they sleep because you know cigarettes and babies and cardboard boxes don't really mix too well. Put the baby box on the floor sitting inside the lid and make sure you can see your baby. Uh, never put the baby in the box, put the lid back on again, and stick it in a different room, because that's when danger is likely to happen, especially if they have their, if they have their fags uh, in maybe their onesie pocket. The box is suitable as a sleeping space for young babies, but when your baby gets to a point where it's standing of its own free will, it's no longer a good uh, space for sleeping, clearly, because their legs are too long, unless you cut the bottom off the box, which you wouldn't want to do. Um, but what you could do then is take your box and fashion it into some kind of really, really bad police car, um, you know, that kids will love. You might, you could spend hundreds of pounds buying the motorised vehicles, BMWs, motorbikes, which will get sold shortly after on Facebook Marketplace. But you build them a cardboard uh, police car and they'll play with it for bloody days. So now that we've covered the safety principles of using a cardboard box, because again, most of us are thick and don't realize that cardboard is, you know, ignitable, as is pretty much your entire home. However, let's then move to the contents of the box to see what you'll get in your baby box should you ask for one. I believe that they had a it was over 65% uptake in people ordering their, their baby boxes, which is fantastic. I think it's a, a great idea, it really is. The first thing, oh, that's wonderful. Look, oh, those got little ears and everything. Now, I'm not a soft touch, you know. I'm a big, burly, hardy man and don't really get swayed by, but look how wonderful this is. Jesus, it's got ears and everything. We've got 
Uh, oh, that'll be the that'll be the cover for the mat the the, the mattress. The mattress that comes the mattress that comes with the box. This will be the a mattress cover. Wonderful. That'll do wonderful for mattressing. Teeny tidy tooty little uh, onesie with obviously the, the shit catcher pocket there. It's for easy access, nappy out, baby out as well because I'm covering pe poops. Oh, another onesie, all oh, lovely. Look at this, look, lovely, cloudy, grey, full size onesie. Beautiful, it's got, little, it's got little feety pouches and everything. Oh, oh, stop it. Another one of the, wonderful, another one of those. Another cover for the matras, beautiful. Uh, ones, oh look, a yellow one, beautiful. There's quite a lot of stuff actually in these boxes, I'm quite impressed. We haven't even covered the good stuff yet. Oh look, little joggers, wonderful. They'll be covered in shit soon enough. So will they. Uh, oh, oh, what's this one? Oh, look at this. Oh, look at, look at this. That's beautiful. It's like a, a yellow cow, blanky. Oh my God, I'm keeping that for myself. Bugger the baby, he can poke it. She can poke it, sorry. Oh look, here we go. A uh, microfiber style blanky. Um, obviously, Take the one from your baby box and don't steal the two they give you at the hospital, uh, you know, uh, to wrap like a baby in the maternity ward like, like we didn't do. Um, you don't take those, you take the one from your baby box to wrap up your new child in. It's wonderful. Oh look, a little bonnet! Oh look, look at, look at, just look, look at the little bonnet! It's just, stop being soppy. Oh! Yellow giraffes! Wonderful, again, poopy hatch, chewy old baby. Oh! It's like a, a, a star covered jumper, a jumpsuit, like a dungarees, wonderful. Again, uh, we've, we seem to have a giraffe theme going on here, which is which is wonderful. So giraffe again. There, this one's got, oh, it's got like a, why is it got like a pouch thing at the front? So, you've got that there, and then you've got this kind of quick opening, like, pouch bit here. Is that just so you can go, and there's got like a harness inside, is this like, like, Bondage for babies. I'm not into that at all. You can go over there, sir. Eh, napkin. Yeah, that'll do. Lovely. Um, yeah. Slivers, wipes. Great. What's in this big bag here? This is. I think it's a duvet. It's a. Du it's a play mat. A wonderful more giraffes. A uh, play mat with the letter A and the letter B. Maybe a C. I imagine too as well sequentially. A uh, play mat. This is quite a good little box actually. I'm quite impressed. Um, important information enclosed, that's handy. Uh, ba baby wrap instructions. Is that like a tortilla wrap? You know, when you cover them in salsa. No, it's not. You have to tie the baby to your chest. We do that. Well, my wife does that. I kind of just pretend that I don't know how to do it. So I don't have to do it, which is great. Um, towel with the little head pouch. He then wrap in the body. Et voila, taco baby. Fajita baby, even, shushed. Ultra slim breast pads uh, for use during and after pregnancy. Uh, super absorbent and discreet. You know when you're when you're feeding a baby from the from the boob and it just starts like spraying milk everywhere. My wife had a thing where um, she could get a good bit of range with the first baby. Good bit of range. And I swear, from about 10 feet away, managed to clock me in the eye with a well-timed squeeze to the boob. So these will be wonderful. Hopefully catch their leaking bloody tatas. Oh, little rubber ducky, look. Oh, ho, ho, wonderful rubber ducky. More dungers. Excellent, more dungers. Little socks. Oh, is that gloves and socks? Is that socks? Do you know what? When you've got a talk, when you've got a baby, is that these become, you normally ditch the sock, sorry, the gloves, and use the socks as gloves uh, because to see them scratching their own faces out like they do when they're little babies and have those little spiky little nail things that for some reason babies need to have for survival when they're fighting the wolves with their spears. So socks are great for the hands. Top tip, sock up the hand, they can't scratch. It's great. More more napkins. Napkins are always a, always a winner. Napkins! Oh, digital bath and room thermometer. This is quite cool actually. I'm, I'm actually genuinely quite impressed at the contents of this box. It's it's not too bad at all. So, bath thermometer and room thermometer, that's actually quite handy. This, oh look, a book, out and about. I do like these, and drool proof pages. Not so much for uh, the baby of course, but for my wife. 
who, my God, you've got no idea. See, when she wakes in the morning, uh, especially being pregnant, the pillow is like, you know, someone's like dumped a, a tub of water over it. It's just, oh, it's like, you know that scene in Ghostbusters when Slimer comes down the hallway and blasts Dan Aykroyd and leaves him a big gooey mess. That's my wife's pillow in the morning. So, Slimer proof books are are well worth it. Infrared ear thermometer. We paid like a fortune for one of these with the first baby and we get it for free in the box. My good goodness, that's that's great. That's brilliant in fact. I'm well impressed with that. Um, oh, oh, oh look. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, condoms. Two packets of condoms. Um, regular and natural. Uh, shaped simplicity, comfort and feeling. Ooh. Now, don't worry, because there's going to be no need for these once the baby comes along, because A, you won't even get time to have B2B to be for naked hugs between, you know, a three and a half, four year old running around and a toddler screaming for attention. That just will kill any mood anyway. But also because I'm so determined to have no more children that once the baby's here and healthy and fine, I'm going to go behind the shed with two large bricks and just... <laughs> I just, just, just destroy everything down below, so there's no even a chance. You know, I mean, obviously I'll leave the toodle because, you know, naked hugs. But the, 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 the coconuts, <laughs> done. Games of bogey. So condoms they can go in the bin because they won't be getting used whatsoever. Oh look, a changing mat, also in the boxer, very, very handy. That'll be covered in shit as well, no doubt. Soon enough. Teeth and ring, yes, great idea. This looks like nail files, I think for. Is that nail files for So, in case your baby's bored and maybe has a hot date that night, they can lie in their little box here and they can just, you know, fix up, you know, get get their nails did. This is, uh, oh, a bit, oh, yes, we all know these, uh, the bandit mask. So, you know, when you're... <laughs> when <laughs> so when your kid needs to rob a local Tesco, you know, just strap that round their heads and uh, they'll never know when they pile out of there with like 1500 weight of rusks and uh, you know uh, milk chocolate fucking buttons so bandit mask for the baby brilliant great i do encourage a strong life of crime for any child uh, more gloves and socks oh this must be the sling that's oh oh wow that's oh i'm not even gonna unravel that because if i do my wife will probably kill me because she likes these things folded a certain way because She's a bit of a, uh, 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 a carrying rap, carrier, a uh, Tula, carrier kind of person. She's a bit, a bit of a fan, basically. Um, and if they're not, like, eco-friendly, wrapped in, like, you know, virgin oiled wood and protected from the elements by, you know, UV rays and, you know, Jeebus beams, then I, I get in trouble. So I'm going to leave that in the box because otherwise she'll chew my throat out with those massive teeth. Maternity towels, eh? Because, <laughs> many of you men out there might not know that when you have a baby, your puddings fall apart, basically. Um, if you're not throwing or launching jobbies at a nurse whilst delivering the baby, you're, all, you're hosing piss around the place like a wolf marking his territory. Because you lose control of everything. Everything just gives up and, you know, for days, weeks afterwards, your puddings will keep falling out. You know, you could be walking to the shop and suddenly there's a half pot of mints lying in the bottom of your gusset. So these things here are very, very handy for a mother uh, after giving birth. Great idea, baby box. Good job, Sturgeon. Um, thinking about my wife's hanging puddings after she's had a baby. Baby's very first black and white book about babies. That's, oh, busy baby, happy baby, peekaboo baby, hungry baby, friendly baby, noisy baby. Now, these books are obviously aimed towards infants. However, our near four-year-old son still loves these books that just, you know, cardboard page, maybe two or three words. And I think we have two books especially like this that I've probably read 4,000 times and my son has managed to rescue from the bin or from various hiding places during that time because they just drive you fucking crazy. Here's a better one, look. If you're happy and you know it, a gift from Bookbug. I do like Bookbug. That's a great idea as well too, making sure kids get books all around the UK and Scotland and whatnot as well. Is it just Scotland or is it the UK? Somebody look up Bookbug for me and see where their coverage area is and they'll get back to me. 
Clap your hands, hide away. Again, loves these books. As will the new one. Snot face, we call her by the way. Uh, our son, uh, Destroyer, has... We asked him what the name should be and he decided uh, Snot face was the name of the new baby. So our daughter will be called Snot face. Now, I was led to... The battery on my camera ran out. So I'm using my phone here in the window. So now all my neighbours are looking across going, what the hell is the fat man doing in the window? If you are expecting, uh, then you'd be a fool not to accept this box. I know that it has its critics, by all means. Everything does these days. You can't do anything these days without people criticising or having their own opinion or thinking you're a dunderhead. But the baby box, I think, is a fantastic equaliser. You know, you have so many families now who are on the bones of their arse. Families who are relying on food banks, who are relying on temporary accommodation. Uh, families with no homes. And they can't afford to go and buy digital ear thermometers and they can't afford to buy tons of onesies and blankets, mattresses and stuff for new ones. And as much as, you know, those people out there who are, you know, um, affluent who think it's a waste of money, it's not. It's not. We're helping families develop a good basis and we're helping children as long as we're not giving them cigarettes and putting them in the box with, with, with a lid on. But uh, it has my full backing. I think this box that we have here is wonderful. It's a great little thing and I fully encourage you to register to receive yours if you are expecting soon. And that's it. Uh, be sure and uh, like and subscribe for the Doghouse Dad YouTube channel which I'll put a link to probably in the bottom here or just search for Doghouse Dad on Facebook and YouTube. Give us a like and a share. Um, cheerio! On that note, I'm going to go now and uh, buy some cigarettes to put in that baby box for when the new one comes. A little snot face. Catch you all later. Toodaloo!